the book. Hello and welcome to this edition of Shaky On Shed, where we'll be taking Hornby Railways, Great Western Railway, Pannier Tank, the 060, and taking it from shabby to a bit less, to a bit less shabbier. I'm trying to keep original as possible. I had a couple of screw ups, but Later on I may detail it, paint it and weather it. And I'm thinking, because I'm doing these old triangles, of buying a motor remagnetizer. It'll come in useful, because I've got a lot now. So I think they'll benefit from remagnetizing. And I'm stripping down, taking the base plate off here. Base, how low can you go? And there we go, flipping it over in the bank. And it was locked up with oil and gunk. The wheels were actually locked up with mud. I didn't fancy stripping it, so it went in a bath of meths. Methylated spirits and giving us scrub, etc. To release the dirt and clean the old oil off. which worked reasonably well, it loosened it up well. I think the old oils had turned to gels. Or oh, whatever they do. Yeah. Oh. They, they thickened anyway. And here, I'm testing the small... <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've been bad with a cold. <coughs> <coughs> Oh god, as I was saying, I was checking the smoke unit. Amazing, it gave me a cough and it's only a video. And here I'm just oiling the chassis. Sorry, this is why I'm delayed with a video. I've had an umdinger of a cold and I've been off sick work. Off, off sick work with it, off work sick with it. Start again. Now I'm putting, I'm putting some white grease on the gearings, and there I'm checking the motor. It's a runner, which incidentally I didn't actually use that motor because it weren't as good as I thought it was. It was weak. Truth be known, the motor I've used is weak, but the actual model didn't have any motor at all. And all I'm working with is my old salvaged ones. So I may work out a replacement. I'm wondering if there's any type of mortar you could fit inside that triangle cage. A modern mortar inside the triangle cage. I've got some I might look into that that I can put the actual worm gear on to. <coughs> I'm doing really well tonight. That's a bit better. I had a blow at snooter. Anyway. I was cleaning the commutator with a glass fibre pen brush. And here I'm stroking out the gap with a cocktail stick. As can be seen for getting any dirt from in between or man. And at this point I'm oiling up. The felt oil pads they were born dry. So I held them up. As I say I didn't end up use, using this motor anyway because it was by the time I put it in it was working when it was out of it. But by the time it went into it and got the load of the actual smoke unit, 
using the actual train and powering itself, it was very weak. The one that's in it isn't much better, but at least it runs it. And there I'm putting white grease on the actual worm gear. And there I'm using the glass fibre pen to clean the wheel contacts. Because they were just absolutely filthy. Years of dirt on them. And there I'm just screwing the mortar back together. And here I'm actually screwing the mortar back into the chassis. After it's all been cleaned up, etc. And here I think I'm trying to run. Oh no, sorry, I'm soldering. It's not me power clips, it's me helping hands. I actually altered the wiring. Later on I put I put a new piece of wiring in from the base plate and up to the mortar and I scrapped scrapped the diode at the back, cut it off. I just went direct to mortar and smoke unit. And here what I'm doing, I'm cleaning the actual carbon brushes, the brass on them. I've already gone over them with meths. So at the moment I'm going over them with the glass fibre brush. And it run out while we're doing it so I need a refill. <laughs> And here, I'm fitting back in the carbon brushes, they go up and through that square bit. And there we go, up and through. And I found out on this, another part that gave me trouble. It must get porous as they get old, but the old triangle insulating sleeve on the carbon brushes spring I think it was causing a shock because I took it off and I put some wire shrink wrap on it and it insulated it wonderful but here I'm giving it a quick rub and it's running that I think personally that diode at the back had something to do with the smoke unit working proper. It's not working again at the moment, but I can rewire re that in. I'll put some modern wiring in. And I'll give it a scrub the body, but it's it's got white marks where methylated spirits affected it. You can see I've put the tank side stickers on and I'm going to be getting some etched brass plates. I haven't got them as yet, but I'm going to get some etched brass plates for the cab sides. But I may do a bit more proper polishing on it. That's just a, just a quick go over. It looks better, but there are white areas where meds is it, and it's not coming up. But in the main, it looks a lot better than it did. And now it's gone from having no water to being a runner. So happy days, another edition. Thanks for watching, and tatty pie, everyone. Tatty pie. Take tidy the idea I got. Bye!